Good evening, I'm Stan Boney. It was a throwback to the olden days tonight on Youngstown's north side. Two of the city's high schools playing a football game on the hallowed ground of Rayan Stadium, a reincarnation, even if only for one night, of the once great City Series Football League. Cheney against East, restarting and renewing. It's our top story at 11. Tonight at Youngstown's Rayan Stadium, where they've been competing since the 1920s, where pennants of the six former city high schools hang at the entrance, Cheney and East prepared to play football once again. Oh, it, it means a lot, you know, just having the two city teams back, the rivalry back, you know, all the, the different schools we have feeding into both schools. Uh, you know, we've been in the schools this week. It's exciting. I mean, I, I think it's huge. You've been looking forward to this game for a while? Yeah, absolutely. Ever since we split, you know, we know it's going to be the big rivalry game, so it's all for the marbles right here. As the two teams warmed up, few could remember the last Cheney East game. It was 2010, East winning 22-20. The next year, Cheney dropped sports, including football, and this year brought football back to the varsity level. You know, it hasn't been an easy go round, you know, splitting in half, and but I think our guys have done a great job. Gentlemen, good evening, and congratulations on the reinstitution of the rivalry between East and Cheney. The most dramatic of the pregame moments came during the coin toss when former Cheney coach Ron Burtis and former East coach Herm Jackson joined the teams at midfield as honorary captains. It's been a great shot in the arm, not only for the community, but uh, um, uh, certainly for the school. It's been, it, it's, it's real, really been a joy. Do you remember some classic Cheney East games? I certainly do. I certainly do. Always fun playing. Good talent, good athletes, good game. All that was left was for the teams to run out of the famous Rayan Stadium tunnel and onto the field to both make history and continue it. Rick Shepes, the athletic director, said tonight's game was just another step in making the Youngstown City Schools better. He says there's a lot of moving parts, but it's fantastic to see them all coming together. We'll have the result and the highlights of the East Cheney game coming up in sports.